This is what I'm looking for, but it is definitely not ready yet. Although I did see some at the back of the property. That's why I'm even out here. I spotted some the other day and I thought maybe I'd find some ready to pick, but this one's not ready. I'm gonna keep walking and see what I find. So early spring was our first really fun foraging experience. <laughs> We foraged a bunch of plantain leaf and seeds, as well as dandelion flowers and leaves, red clover, some violets, not that many violets. And now it is goldenrod season. I see it everywhere, but none is in bloom. So I might be out here a little too soon. However, I did spot a little area in the back, back, back of the property the other day on our walk that I thought, oh, it's goldenrod season. Got to come back and check it out. But it may be too soon. All that is going to be bright yellow in the next few weeks. I could see the little flower buds. So I'm going to dry some for tea and I'm going to start some tinctures, of course. Um, goldenrod is great for uh, antihistamine as well as um, urinary tract health, bladder, kidney, all that stuff. And um, it's got a ton of antioxidants. So I'm pretty excited to have some on hand just to add to our herbal teas and to add to my medicine cabinet. I've got um, from the stuff I foraged in the spring, still plenty of flowers and leaves dried for tea for all, all of the things I mentioned, red clover, dandelion and um, plantain. I unfortunately did not know what yarrow looked like. And so next year will be a second shot at foraging that, but I really think we had some and I just didn't know it. So I'm hoping I was right and I'll find out next year when it blooms again. And now with, um, the goldenrod. I hope to stock up plenty that'll last me till next year. So it stormed like crazy last night, pretty much from like three o'clock till bedtime. And it's supposed to do the same today. So with this rain and sunshine, everything looks so gorgeous and green today. Um, we've had very little rain, like I've shared in past videos. And so a lot of things were dried up and dying and then in the last two weeks we've had two very long uh rain spells so it's been great that one's blooming just a little bit you see oh and there's a few more just a little bit of bloom on that one just starting to open up and there's some more right there However, those are not the ones I spotted. What I spotted was along this tree line here and I still haven't come across it. So let's see. Here it is. So I do think I'm a bit early. get just the ones that are blooming now and come back in a few days to gather a lot more and naturally be really familiar with what you're foraging um, this is our property so we know this is not sprayed but you don't want to run the risk of foraging anything that might have been sprayed with pesticides um, it could do you more harm than good if you um, aren't certain so um, just keep that in mind I'm gonna leave this area and go through the trails because there's quite a bit on the trails every year 
Um, that's the most I was able to find right now in this back area. There's so many cool things growing. I can't tell what that is. I'm also on the lookout for snakes. <laughs> it's a very hot, sunny day and they could definitely be here I'm trying to get a little sunshine. There's also an elderberry tree over here that I've been keeping my eye on. Those berries are getting eaten. What a bummer. Oh, that's ready. Look at that. I picked several crowns off of some of my elderberry up front uh, about four days ago, so I should actually go revisit those and see if there's any more crowns ready. I think the area is coming right up and I don't see any yellow. So I think probably by next week, I'll have a huge amount of goldenrod. But for now, I've got a nice little handful that will serve our purposes. Make some tea with it and dry some out. And next week we'll come back out here and gather some for tinctures. My pole beans are growing. I also went ahead and planted some onions on either side. Not too many, just something to fill the area. Sweet potatoes looking pretty happy. Oh goodness, maybe the dogs did this. Looks like it. That's aggravating. Oh my. Oh, good grief. What a pain. Cucumbers. Yesterday I harvested one huge one. I see. No, I don't see any right now. My kale's growing, and so are some radishes. I also went ahead and planted some more sunflowers in the corners of the raised beds. And so far, nothing's peeking through here. I'm pretty sure I've got radishes, carrots, Brussels sprouts, and lettuces. I harvested some lemon balm from my little pots over there yesterday. Here's my elderberry that I was so excited about, but it looks like almost all the crowns minus those two have been eaten, which is such a bummer. Maybe because it's so out in the open, it's easier for the birds to get to. And my lemon balm. I think the secret to this was to put it half in the shade like I did. I'm so glad it's doing better. Maybe some goldenrod there. We've got some elderberry here. 
looking a lot more full on this area than the one in the woods and the one by the garden. Awesome, awesome. Nothing ready to pick yet though. A few little purple berries, but nothing yet ready. And there's pokeberry right next to it. This is not elderberry, guys. This is pokeberry. When it gets really ripe, you can juice them and your kiddos can paint with them. We used to do that. We'll just keep watching and waiting. I'm so excited to make my elderberry syrup and tincture. This was a pretty successful foraging trip. I got one crown of elderberries to add to my stash in the freezer and several goldenrod blooms for tea. If you want golden finches, plant sunflowers. I see them hanging on this tiny little sunflower every morning. They come and pick the seeds. Of course, if you want the seeds, <laughs> once they start picking at them, you know it's time to come get them for yourself. But when we had the all the sunflowers all around the garden, there were golden finches swarming everywhere. I'm excited for the, the second uh, round of sunflowers to bloom. These wildflowers are done for, I guess. I don't know if anything else will bloom. Um, this little guy is looking like it's gonna bloom soon, which is one of the top five butterfly plants. So I'm hoping that it'll attract some monarchs. And I do have some, uh, what is it called? The one that monarchs love. The only one that they lay their eggs on. I'm going blank. I can't remember, but I do have some there. It's not blooming right now, but hopefully next year it'll be much larger and it'll attract some monarchs. I'm really, really hoping to uh, capture the whole life cycle in my garden for some monarch butterflies. Man, what is it called? Why does this always happen to me? Anyway. Mm -hmm. 